Girls here and I'm here today to show you what I am bringing with me to the Dolomites. In three days and counting I will be heading on a plane over to Europe to hike the uh, one of the eight AVs in uh, northern Italy and AV stands for Alta Via so I will be hiking the Alta Via too. Um, Alta Via basically translates into the highway. So um, a lot of people uh, who uh, travel to the Dolomites usually hike the AV1. That is a very populated hike from what I've been reading. It's one of the more well-known uh, AVs. Now AV2, from what I've been reading, uh, is more of a challenging and strenuous hike. So basically for someone that has only done hikes, uh, section hikes of the Appalachian Trail with relatively small hills. Um, I really don't know what to expect, so I probably am packing more than I should. That being said, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So without further ado, I'm just gonna do a, a, a rundown of uh, what I'm bringing and uh, including pack and sleeping arrangements and all that good stuff. So without further ado. Now, uh, I am not bringing a tent. Now, they have, uh, all throughout these AVs, they have what you call refugios. They're basically mountain hostels. And uh, what I was uh, told that I should bring, because I am going with my uncle and my cousin, I was told to bring a sleeping bag liner. Now, a sleeping bag liner is um, very lightweight. It uh, is, of course, meant to go in your sleeping bag as an extra uh, layer of warmth, but a lot of, in all, a lot of these refugios, they have a, a mattress but no linens. So what I'm doing is I got a Sea to Summit Coolmax fabric adapter. Uh, it sounds so high tech, but it is very lightweight. I used it on my section hike of um, the AT in New York and it is treated with permethrin, which is fantastic. However, I highly doubt I will be hitting many mosquitoes or buggies up in the mountains. That being said, here we go. This is the sleeping bag liner. Um, next uh, is your basic microfiber towel. Uh, again, they're not providing anything at these refugees besides a bed and some food. So I was uh, told to get a towel. So here we go, microfiber towel, quick dry, nothing more to, speak, to say. You'll find that uh, all of my gear is super colorful. <laughs> Um, so yeah. I don't know what uh, there is in terms of pillow. There may be pillow. I am still hemming and hawing about bringing my huge <laughs> Cabela's camp pillow. Um, I brought it with me on my section hike. It was worth it, but for this hike I hope they have uh, some sort of pillow. If not, I will sleep on my uh, clothing dry sack. So. Now, in terms of sleeping, um, sleeping clothing, your basic quick dry shirt and a pair of shorts. And that's basically what I'm gonna be wearing at night. They do have showers, like I said. Uh, unfortunately, with some of these refugios, you have to pay to take a shower. Uh, I was laughing, I said, you know, I could be a, a real fun person and not shower for nine nights in which case they will have to kind of force me to take a shower because I just, you know, paying six euro for a shower. Ah. So on the days of the hike. Now, uh, we are spending nine nights uh, on the trail. We are starting in a small town called Brixen or Bressanone. I uh, probably am not saying that right, but I'm trying here. So that's where the AV2 starts. It goes from north to south. Um, the first night, we're not really traveling very far, uh, however, um, it is quite a hike up. I have the choice whether to hike the mountain, uh, which is about two and a half hours, or take the gondola, which is uh, the little tram up to the top. So, to be determined. However, all the other days we're gonna be hiking between five and 11 miles. It doesn't seem very much, but when you are uh, doing a full elevation gain of loss throughout the entire trip of about 40,000 feet, you'll feel those five miles. Uh, I'm sure I will. So in terms of footwear, 
naturally, uh, hiking boots. Now, I was hemming and hawing. Uh, I have trail runners that I use for uh, the AT. I love those things. I, they're my ultras. Everyone uses, well, majority of folks use ultras. But I was told maybe you should get yourself boots. So, thank goodness for eBay. Uh, these are Merrell's, um, what are they called? Uh, Merrell's Chameleon Arc 2 Mid, blah, blah, blah. Um, Merrell's are not universally known as being the best hiking shoe. However, I owned these years ago and they treated me very well. Um, I found these babies on eBay for 30 bucks and I was super psyched. Put a um, insert in and we are good to go. I took them on a shakedown a couple of weeks ago and no issues whatsoever. So these are what I'm using. Uh, at night, you can't wear, of course, your boots in the Refugios, so I got the stylish Crocs. After the shoes come the socks, so darn toughs, darn toughs all day every day. So I have three pairs of darn toughs, I've learned, and for night, if my tootsies get cold at night, I got a pair of smart wools. Uh, darn toughs seem to be the thing these days. Um, it's changing all the time, but darn tufts are the mainstay. Moving right along. Okay, so it's a necessary evil to talk about this. Underwear. Yeah. Some people prefer to go commando. Uh, I prefer not to. <laughs> Some people uh, who are kind of silly prefer to wear cotton underwear. Don't do that. Um, instead, Go for ex officios. Those are my go-to underwear. Um, I change up colors, so we got tan, we got black. Uh, these things are moisture wick. They are quick dry, moisture wick, the whole nine yards. I love these things. Now, um, looking at the temperatures, I, uh, I'm not sure what the temperature is going to be at all. I looked at one of the highest peaks in the South Tyrols, Marmolada, and at night it's crawling down between 30 and 32 degrees. Ah, at night. What? So, in terms of trousers, I have a bunch. Basic, what is this? I don't even know what brand this is. Columbia, Columbia brand. Bring in these babies and they have the nice zip in case it gets warm and I can take off the bottom part of those pants. Uh, I also found another pair of Columbia's on eBay. Guys, go on eBay. You will save yourself so much money. I got these for $13 and they are lightweight and they are great and yeah. And I picked up a pair of REI uh, trousers as well. Uh, they have a great sale. Labor Day sale is going on right now, so get yourself a pair. Excuse me. I was <laughs> I was at REI earlier and uh, hobnobbing around. I needed to get another carabiner, and I noticed in their clearance rack a pair of obnoxiously violet purple hiking pants. I'm like, oh, these would be amazing. So uh, I go and I try them on. Uh, fit in the waist, not, not in the ass. Typical. Um, because they, uh, they're they Prana, that's the company, and Prana is reputable. Um, I kind of gather that uh, these clothes were created by very, very, very thin <laughs> yogis. So, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get the obnoxiously uh, bright color uh, pants for the trek, but these will suffice. Right, so that's all covered. Next important thing, of course, the sports bras. Gotta protect the tatas. In terms of tops, um, I have a couple of base layers. Um, basic target base layer, long sleeve. It's served me well 
and I just picked up this from eBay. It is Under Armour. Um, it's a bit thicker. It's what is it called? Fitted Cold Gear Made in Nicaragua. So uh, I picked this up for a song on eBay. So there we have that. Outerwear, a rain, uh, rain poncho, rain jacket. I bought this a year ago uh, after Hurricane Harvey. Uh, Cranky and I did a Hurricane Harvey hike, a 16 miles soaking wet. After that, I bought this rain, rain jacket and I have yet to use it. I think I've used it for a grand total of 10 minutes and I was sweating profusely in it, so I said scratch that. So I'm bringing this, it folds up really small. Um, this is an REI rain jacket, so this is being brought. Again, go on eBay. This is Mountain Hardware. It is a nice um, moisture wicky jacket. Um, has a lot of pockets. It has a sleeve pocket, which is big enough to hold my Jigunda phone. Fabulous. And I think this set me back $25 on eBay. Go on eBay. Now this, oh, this this is the best thing in the world. People have heard me wax poetic about this thing, and I'm sure they're sick of me, you know, me talking about it, but my puffy. Um, I, this is an eBay buy. I have found this puffy. It's a Patagonia puffy jacket, puffer jacket, and it was mislabeled as North Face for 50 bucks on eBay. And I said, oh, hello, uh, my size, and it said $50 or best offer. So I put in 40. The guy accepted it. And voila, a beautiful, lightly used Patagonia puffer jacket for 40 bucks plus shipping. Can't go wrong. Uh, once again, this folds into absolutely nothing, so it is coming with me. Even if I wear it in the refugio at night, I will be nice and warm. Okay. So we covered clothing, importance, ah. Uh, like I said, not too sure what I'm going to uh, be expecting out there. I have gloves and ear warmers, an ear warmer. And I'm also wearing, which is in the car, my Bronx hat. Thank you, Bronx Native. Shout out to them. They are fantastic. Okay, now for accessories. Comes the pack. I got this pack back in uh, late March and I didn't start using it until August. But it has been on a couple of hikes with me, including my overnight section. So we are good to go. This is the Osprey Kite 46. It is big, it has ample room, lots of pockets. I love that inside pockety thing. Um, then forth, of course you gotta be adventurous as. <clears throat> uh, and has a rain cover for it on the bottom, uh, an opening on the bottom for shoes and whatnot. Now, what I've noticed with a lot of packs, if not all packs, is that they lack a pocket towards the front. Of course you have like the hip belt pockets, but they're tiny. So everyone's talking about Z-Packs these days. Z-Packs has a shoulder strap pouch that uh, you can attach onto your strap. However, they make them themselves and it takes five weeks to uh, have them shipped out, made and shipped out to you. So. Um, I was too late for that, so Gossamer Gear sells this little pouch that is perfect for my iPhone 6 Plus. Um, it is zipper compartment, it could fit your phone, uh, probably a small uh, battery bank, uh, some batteries for your camera, whatever you want, credit cards, blah blah blah. You, you know, it's up to you. 
So this thing is going to be a lifesaver. I have yet to try it out, but I am excited for that. Trekking poles, pretty self-explanatory. They are cheap trekking poles, uh, Montums. I've had these for about five months now. They haven't broken yet. We've broken two poles already, Cranky and I, together. Uh, I fell on one and I think he fell on one as well. So um, these are mine, they're pink. Um, I'm not into, I don't dig pink, but you know, everything is pink these days with me. Um, even my ultras are purpley pink and I heart them. This is my first aid kit slash um, toiletry kit. It's hefty. I was told, oh, you don't really need to bring it, but you know, I fall. <laughs> I, I, I fall quite a bit. Um, I'm not gonna go over absolutely everything. It has your basics, your band-aids, your um, neosporins. Try oral. This stuff will save you if you are feeling lethargic, if you're feeling uh, tired or lightheaded. These are oral rehydration salts. You stick a half a pack in these in a Nalgene sized bottle and you spring back to life. Um, I have nothing bad to say about tri -orals. They have saved me a bunch of times. I also picked up, for my peace of mind, uh, hot rods, hand warmers. Um, I will probably stick these in my shoes if need be. Basic, NyQuil, um, yeah, basic stuff. I have my Osprey bladder, reservoir bladder, names change all the time. Got this. I am bringing my Sawyer Squeeze, because you never know. Um, and I have my, my smart water bottles for the Sawyer Squeeze. I am not bringing this. I'm not bringing my Nalgene. It is... Um, heavy, it's cumbersome, I love it, but not bringing it. Dry sacks up the ass, um, I have a bunch of these. I'm bringing my electronics on the trip, because I'm not only, you know, hiking the Dolomites, I'm, you know, going here and there everywhere, and so, battery banks, I have two of them, I have this it's heavy but it holds maybe so you have charged six times with this thing it's called Chiro I love this thing I know anchor is another company that uh, does battery banks and I probably they're a bit lighter but I'm bringing this um, this is my dry sack full of my gear my technology stuff gears Thing. Um, micro USB. I am bringing my GoPro with me. Um, where is it? There's the baby. It's tiny. Um, I've used it uh, twice now and I absolutely love it. So, yes, a lot of time lapse and night stuff is going to go into it. Uh, a little mount for it. I have a tripod, a baby tripod. That's coming with me. I'm bringing my iPad and basic iPhone, iPad chargers, and there goes all the electronics. I uh, probably won't get Wi Fi every night, but that's okay. Um, however, we do have electricity. And I mean, other than that, rope, you never know. In terms of snackies, uh, cliff blocks they are amazing especially when you're going up a mountain and you're feeling like you're about to die take two one or two of these you will be revived I promise I got my ziploc -y bag full of booze and cliff bars and chocolate hot chocolate mix and of course you can't have enough ziploc bags these things are golden now in terms of like mountain gear, I was told, not told to bring anything in terms of helmet or proper shoes um, or anything like that, but reading about 
what we may be doing in the Dolomites. It requires some mountaineering. So I didn't get very technical at all. I picked up a sling and two carabiners. One to attach onto my uh, belt loops, my belt, another one to attach onto the uh, iron rods that are connected to the mountain. If we end up going up a Ferrata, I am not sure. However, like I said, better to be safe than sorry. So these are all from REI. It is what I call my $15 insurance policy. I am also bringing a bandana. This uh, bandana has been proven to be very useful for multiple things, um, as a headband, as uh, to cover up if you're gonna get sunburn. Um, I kind of doubt that, but it's a useful little tool to have. And this thing uh, I bought years ago when I was going to Yosemite. Um, it's a moisture wick, uh, quick, dry, blah blah blah, a uh, face towel. And this thing has actually been proven to be extremely useful. So that is my, the rundown for uh, the, my gear to go to the Dolomites, uh, the AV2. Uh, I'm starting on Labor Day and um, we will be out there for nine days, ending on the 13th, I believe. We will be stopping at Refugios every night and I will be updating as much as possible. Uh, I will be taking video every day. Um, so watch this space for upcoming videos of uh, my adventure to Italy. We'll see you soon.